what is your interpretation on how heart coherence um, ma manipulates the, the quantum matrix and everything that we're doing here? Okay. Uh, uh, we have a couple of friends, uh, Deva Primalamit, and maybe some of you know their music. And um, we sit around with sometimes and they pick up a guitar and they start playing and it's really beautiful, just a small community. And I go, but the issue is this. <clears throat> It can't be a big community because if they're just sitting around, there's no amplification or anything. Is it's all how many people can sit around Deva and Mitten and listen? I say small number of people. I go, yeah, but if they go into an amphitheater and plug into a sound system with an amplifier, they could have twenty thousand people. The conscious mind is the local idea mind it's like the uh you know unamplified <laughs> uh music playing i can hear this right here right the heart is an electric generator that you can put a probe what uh, i'm gonna how many yards away you know 30 feet away whatever and you can electrically get the pulse of a person's heart from that distance why because we're amplifying the electric contraction of the heart. Powerful electric shock is being amplified. I go, great. If you take the consciousness and put it in harmony with the heart, then the heart electrical waves become carriers for the message that the brain had. If it's not in contact with the heart, the brain message will go out so far and you'll influence yourself just locally right here. But if you amplify it with your heart, that message is broadcast out to the environment out here. So heart brain uh, harmony together, working together is an amplification of consciousness. And that's why if you, if you put your love in through your heart and your vision through your heart, you're not just putting it locally, you're broadcasting it in the field. And the more people that are broadcasting, each of us is a tuning fork. And the more tuning forks that are on the same frequency, when they all get hit, make a amplitude of sound that changes the environment. And so coming together in a community as you are doing is bringing together a bunch of tuning forks and then getting coherence in that tuning fork system to create a vision of heaven on earth and if everybody in the community is broadcasting that, then even people who are not in the community that just walk into that field a little bit, it's called like a crowd response. <laughs> Most of crowd response, unfortunately, are due to riots where the person gets pulled in and all of a sudden they're fighting and it's like, how the hell did I get here? But what if we made a crowd response of heaven on earth and pull people in? Then even those around you who are not even thinking the way you're thinking, the volume from the tuning forks will alert them to this other vision that's going on. So uh, evolution is the evolution of community. And you can start, you don't make instantly all community at once. You start with smaller communities that merge with other communities. And when the communities all start coming together, the amplitude and volume of that consciousness uh, is what it, it's the consciousness that shapes reality, quantum physics. The more that share this global peace consciousness, the more it manifests in the reality. So the, the point of bringing it together is exactly that. It's not just coming from your mind. <laughs> it's got to come from your heart. And it's interesting, a friend of mine did some EEG studies on uh, what's called Cook's hookup. It's a process where you cross your arms and legs and uh, uh, because it brings harmony to right and left hemispheres uh, and it calms people down. So yeah, he could show on the EEG, look, their higher activity, now it's calming and becoming more coherent. And then he added this part, which was um, the blow away he'd never anticipated. He said, well, those people were in that calm, collected state. He said, come from your heart, get a vision of love and come from your heart. And all of a sudden out of that electrical activity, a spike jumped up and it wasn't in the conventional alpha and beta consciousness. It was gamma, gamma's peak performance. And all of a sudden it said, just sitting there in calm consciousness and coming from their heart, gamma burst 
came out, which is the highest energy form. And, and it was on signal. It was basically, okay, now come from your heart. Boom, within 30 or so seconds, boom, gamma waves shot out. So basically, you know, it says that, um, that this heart and body mind connection when working together is an amplifier and we can all, and it doesn't require everyone to get there. That's the cool part. Only a percentage of people have to get there. Then the volume is so loud that even people who are not ready to be in that energy field, they're in it because the volume is so loud. So uh, that's the beautiful part because we had to wait for everybody to come on board. It's like, that's not gonna really happen. But if we get a percentage on board, it will activate it. Mm -hmm.